Recently, I dove deep into the world of Chapel Rowan. Her rise is beyond deserved. I can't remember the last time I saw someone with such an unmistakable it factor. Rowan is the girl on everyone's lips. She's your artist's favorite artist, after all, and rightfully so. We haven't seen her brand of authenticity and appeal in an artist for quite some time. Her queerness paired with a one-of-a-kind, captivating presence is, to put it mildly, extraordinary. That level of authenticity resonates heavily with audiences desperate for real representation in an industry flooded with artificial, or at the very least, overproduced acts. Witnessing someone navigate the complexities of their identity so freely and expressively is profoundly inspiring, especially in an era where societal pressures often demand conformity. Chapel Rowan's narrative confirms that true success stems from authenticity, challenging us to forsake comfort for the courage to live as our true selves and connect meaningfully with the world. This isn't just a search for personal identity. It's a challenge to break free from the boundaries that restrict us. Her story makes clear that the key to achieving our dreams lies in the bravery to extend beyond our known limits and redefine success. Growing up in a conservative Missouri town of just 6,000 people left a lasting imprint on Chapel Rowan's worldview and aspirations. Her formative years in this close-knit environment fueled a yearning for broader horizons. As a kid, Rowan was deeply immersed in a routine established by her parents, which for her meant attending church three times a week. When I read that, I found myself connecting to her even more. I personally hated going to church. It was a taxing ordeal that often felt more burdensome than enlightening. Listening to someone tell me something I didn't fully agree with while surrounded by people who could care less if I was there or not just didn't sit right with me. But I was a kid, and a Catholic one at that. While these routines offered a semblance of community, they paradoxically heightened our sense of isolation when we didn't feel a true connection with those around us. This enforced conformity set the stage for that nagging feeling of not belonging a sentiment many of us now know all too well. From a young age, I realized I was a wallflower, able to observe and understand the world around me, but always feeling slightly out of sync with my peers. God did I gab though, but every time I opened my mouth, I couldn't tell if people cared what I said. The struggle to make friends after school was an even more clearer sign of this disconnect. Interactions were often marked by missed cues rather than mutual understanding. Over time, I managed to carve out a niche where I fit, but even then, the sense of true belonging remained just out of reach, with connections never feeling entirely complete. Reflecting on these experiences, it's evident how deeply our early environments and the societal expectations they carry shape our journey towards self-discovery and finding our place in the world. Luckily for Chapel, she found solace in art, but kept her musical talents hidden until she performed at a talent show Encouraged by friends, she took the bold step of sharing her music on YouTube. Discovered at 17, she moved to LA at 18 with a record deal and a dream. Rowan has since reflected critically on this rapid transition, describing the music industry's practice of signing young artists as bizarre and predatory. She goes so far as to argue that it should be outright illegal, pointing to the immense pressures and ethical dilemmas these young talents face. Thrust into the high-stakes music scene, she grappled with the immense pressure to succeed amidst this glittering yet isolating expanse of city. She'd ultimately get dropped from her deal, eventually having to move back home during the pandemic and starting all over again. As the album started to gain traction, she was working at a drive through of all places. In hindsight, the album became a testament to her journey weaving together themes of self-discovery, freedom, and the emotional turmoil of leaving a tight-knit community for the vast unknown. Her experiences became the fuel that powered her creative process, allowing her to dive deeper into her identity through her music. Chapel Rowan revealed that while crafting her debut album, she was in fact in a relationship with a guy in the process of writing and exploring this new world she found herself in, 
she came to realize her queer identity, discovering an attraction to women and a comfort in queer spaces. She reflects on her upbringing, noting the absence of visible queer communities and how her environment essentially stamped out any internal premonitions to her gay awakening. It was only upon leaving her town that she began to see herself and her place in the world differently. Growing up, we often fail to realize that many people live in ways vastly different from our own. This reality hit me personally when I witnessed for the first time a boy kissing another boy on MTV. Christina Aguilera's Beautiful was playing and being the Christina stan that I was, I sat there taking it in. When that scene came on, my mom jumped up to change the channel yelling, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. In that instant, I fully grasped the extent of the evilness that is the gay agenda. I quickly learned that it was in my best interest to act as though I didn't think boys were cute. As a kid, I was so scared of being singled out, so I'd try my hardest to butch it up. But still so, I was faced with intrusive questions. Every gay person knows that anxiety that comes from that specifically dreaded question. Hey, can I ask you something? From an early age, the expectation that boys like girls and girls like boys narrowed my understanding of normalcy, a sentiment that Chapel Rowan shares through her own experiences, a narrow view that has led to a glaring lack of representation for queer identities in media and society. This absence not only affects the mental well-being and self-esteem of queer people, but also robs us of the powerful, affirming stories that reflect the true diversity of human experiences. Nowadays, the girls and the gays are commonplace on TV, yet for many on the other side of the screen, they remain the only queer figure visible in their surroundings, or, in some cases, even across their whole town. When we don't see ourselves in the people around us, Many of us decide to mask our genuine selves. This issue is not just a gay issue. Anyone who has ever felt marginalized or overlooked, whether due to identity, beliefs, or background, understands the critical importance of diverse and inclusive representation. Chapel Rowan's journey of self-discovery sheds light on the complex path to authenticity in a society that often obscures the inherent diversity of identities and preferences. The album has no skips. She describes it as a rebellion. It seems like everyone else agrees. Chapel Rowan's meteoric rise from intimate local stages to headlining major festivals like Governor's Ball crowns her as a defining figure of this new pop era. In her album, each track is a jubilant celebration, narrating a coming-of-age story. Rowan masterfully blends humor and levity with deep vulnerability and introspection, presenting these complexities through an unfailingly optimistic lens. The first track I found by her was Pink Pony Club. Everyone and their mom was talking about it, so of course I checked it out. Safe to say, I loved it. Pink Pony Club is not merely a track. It's an odyssey inspired by Chapel Rowan's transformative experiences at the Abbey in West Hollywood. It was there that an encounter with a go-go dancer sparked a spiritual awakening for her. This track resonates with anyone pursuing an unconventional life and the liberation that comes with embracing their true identity. On the track, Rowan dives into the challenges of chasing a dream her mom clearly doesn't agree with. She has mentioned in interviews that while writing the song, she envisioned herself as the Midwest princess transformed into a go-go dancer. The lyrics reveal poignant thoughts that go beyond mere musings, though. Rowan introduces the song by capturing the constant allure of Los Angeles, a city where everyone can live as queens all day. Yet this liberating portrayal is clouded by personal strife as she reflects on her mother's pointed disapproval not just of her unconventional career, but also of the lifestyle it entails. Her anticipated response, God, what have you done? This tension between her dreams and her family's traditional expectations not only shapes her personal journey, but also mirrors a common struggle many of us face, reconciling individual aspirations and growth with familial expectations. As Rowan navigates her new life, 
The weight of these expectations casts a long shadow over her newfound identity and freedom, constantly challenging her to balance personal happiness against the values she was raised with. Many of us constantly worry about our family's reaction to seeing us in spaces where we freely explore our identities. Our lives may seem unconventional to many. I remember Trixie and Katya describing the transition from straight to gay as moving from black and white to technicolor. I don't think you can describe it any better. Discussions about sexuality and the openness of queer spaces can be overwhelming for outsiders, but for us, it's about exploring who we are and what we want to become. We often leave behind what we were taught to reject, finding solace in communities that celebrate our true selves. We find joy in breaking norms and sharing the camaraderie of those who've also felt marginalized. This song encapsulates that journey, navigating our past, the places we now claim, and our evolving selves. It has become an anthem of self-discovery and freedom, an exploration of her dreams, queer spaces, and her identity. It's a thrilling yet challenging experience, shadowed by the persistent ghost of shame, yet ultimately it resolves into a defiant celebration. Rowan's Pink Pony Club is a bold declaration of self-affirmation and captures a moment of clear, liberating realization. Its infectious energy and poignant lyrics don't just entertain, they make listeners feel seen and understood, celebrated for who they truly are. In Rowan's words, she's doing it to become the person she's always wanted to be. Rowan's honesty and bold self-expression distinguish her in an industry saturated with polished, highly manufactured personas. It's a rare phenomenon to encounter someone who exudes such authenticity, uniqueness, and unapologetic queerness. In a landscape that frequently rewards conformity, Rowan's fearless embrace of her identity is both refreshing and revolutionary. Although comparisons to Lady Gaga are inevitable, Chapel Rowan represents a fundamentally new kind of artist. Gaga, an ally to the queer community from the beginning, has always maintained that she is not, in fact, gay. Rowan's identity as a queer woman, especially as a lesbian, brings a unique and deeply authentic perspective. Her punk ethos and fearless honesty disrupt established norms in the industry, pushing boundaries with a visceral authenticity. With her distinctive style and no fucks given POV, Rowan is a true trailblazer driving forward the representation of genuine queer experiences, especially for women. By redefining what it means to be a queer artist, Rowan not only makes space for herself, but also sets a bold new standard for others to follow. Representation is not just a luxury for queer people, it's a necessity, especially for those of us who may come from small town like Chapel Rowan's. When surrounded by closed minds, we often feel the need to hide our true selves. When society imposes strict norms on how we should act and who we should be, we start to believe that conformity is our only option. This societal pressure makes any deviation from the norm feel like a transgression, a sentiment amplified by the inherent fear of the other that small towns often harbor. Rowan's journey underscores the importance of queer spaces and communities in fostering authentic self-expression. The song Pink Pony Club encapsulates the irreverence and joy of queer life, celebrating the freedom when we allow ourselves to be who we want to be. The story captures the emotional complexity that comes from revealing our true self to the world, particularly to loved ones who might not understand us. Reflecting on my first experiences exploring myself, I felt that same flurry of emotions. The journey to live authentically is universally challenging and transformative. Often this path requires us to fake it till we make it. Adopting personas or traits that initially feel alien to us as we navigate our true selves. Chapel Rowan shared a transformative revelation during her interviews. After a performance at a drag bar, a drag queen told her, you're one of us. This revelation was a godsend for Rowan, not only propelling her deeper into her artistry, but also enabling her to embrace and express her identity as a drag queen more fully. 
Our external environments and the interactions we have within them play crucial roles in shaping how we see ourselves and how confidently we present our true identities to the world. For Rowan, this pivotal moment did more than deepen her artistic expression. It connected her more deeply with the queer community and marked a significant milestone in her journey towards self-acceptance. Each step forward in her journey not only enriched her personal life, but also enhanced her contributions to the community. Our true identities are often revealed and affirmed not only through the acceptance of others, but also by embracing and exploring the more imaginative and unconventional aspects of ourselves. That exploration allows us to break free from conventional constraints and truly appreciate the complexities of our own identities. Chapel Rowan's journey from a conservative small town to the heart of vibrant queer communities epitomizes the transformative power of authenticity, inspiring others to embrace their true selves and celebrate their unique identities. Rowan's music, especially tracks like Pink Pony Club, conveys a powerful message of self-acceptance and celebration. Her story serves as a shining example for anyone pursuing their dreams against the odds. Embrace your journey, find your voice, and go be you. Her journey reminds us that there is beauty in the struggle, and that the pursuit of authenticity is a journey worth taking. Rowan's success is a testament to the power of resilience and the joy that comes from living one's truth. Rowan's message is clear. Be you or the drag version of you. Unabashedly raunchy or conservatively composed, but above all, enjoy yourself. <laughs>